This next patient is a complex patient sent after uh, previous cataract surgery. You can see here you've got an intraocular lens that is asymmetrically fixated and also quite a bit of uh, iris injury with even conjunctiva scarring up to the wound in a pterygium-like process here that I'm removing, uh, doing very light cautery as I don't want to have a uh, recurrence of, of much uh, inflammation and scarring, so creating paracentesis ports here. I'm going to use a cohesive viscoelastic to open up the capsular bag. You can see the optic in one loop is in the bag with the other loop in the sulcus. I'm prepared to exchange the lens, uh, but if I'm successfully able to open the bag completely and it's a good lens uh, not uh, and, and the proper power like it is here, I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and put this single piece lens within the capsular bag. However, the other loop is cocooned into some scarring, and I'm going to see that the it's hard to get it completely centered. It keeps wanting to bounce back, so I've kind of, kind of got to get this other loop out of the out of that uh, cocooned uh, scarring, rotate it around, and I finally got uh, excellent uh, centration and got that bag completely open. So here I'm putting in more viscoelastic, uh, removing vitreous that's coming around some of the injured area that also has some zonular weakness. Didn't need a capsular tension ring, but I was ready to use that if needed. Now I'm gonna use a, a STC6 uh, needle on a polypropylene suture to try to reduce that uh, opening in the iris, reduce the glare that that's causing. Also recenter the pupil. The pupil's pharmacologically dilated right now, but when this patient is not dilated with a light colored iris, the patient, the family can see that the pupil is uh, decentered nasally. So I'm going to kind of recenter this, uh, do so with this kind of a hammock style, mechanical type suture, and uh, very gently going to do this. And uh, won't be able to do much more than that. Um, I looked at closing off some of the additional openings, but the iris is so atrophic in that area that it would eventually just cheese wire through. And I'm, I don't want to create a worse situation with with uh, hemorrhage, cheese wiring, inflammation, and uh, other situations. So you have to know your limitations. I'm gonna rotate the knot into the sclera here, and then uh, just close off that area with the conjunctiva here with some, uh, with a suture with the knot buried underneath the conjunctiva. In the end, it was an extremely satisfying end result. Uh, patient and family are very, very happy on day one after surgery and uh, the patient's done extremely well. Thank you.